I was licking my wounds from my encounter with Fiona Fatale in her apartment the night before. I had anticipated it being the most exciting experience of my life, but it turned out to be one of the most disappointing. The kind of disappointment you feel when you're looking forward to your favorite Sunday brunch and the bagel store is all out of locks. Then this looker entered the office, making me instantly forget all about Fiona Fatale. I started salivating like she was a plate of kasha varnishkas. I was tongue-tied, so I let my partner sway to the talking. How can we help you, Ms? Rabbi. Jessica, Rabbi. You're the best-looking rabbi I've seen, Dollface. I'm not a rabbi. It's my husband's last name. But he's also a rabbi, so he's... Rabbi, Rabbi. What's his first name? Rabbi. What do people call him? Rabbi. Rabbi, Rabbi. I don't see you as a rabbi's wife, Dollface. Nor does anyone else. I converted to Judaism, but the members of the congregation still resent me. They think you only married me for my looks. How silly. I try to dab him properly. Really, I do. I'm just not very good at it. I get the picture. I'm not bad. I just dab him that way. Why are you here? The synagogue's prized possession is a golden mezuzah. It's kept locked in the safe in the basement. This morning I went to the basement to check our inventory of herring jars. The safe was open and the golden mezuzah gone. Does your husband know? He entered the room right after I did. He said the only person to have access to it was the guard, but I know he didn't take it. He's my friend. What kind of friend? Just a friend. It's not what you think. Why does everyone think that a guy can't be friends with a girl like me without wanting to have sex with her? Yeah, that's ridiculous. Why the hell would he want to have sex with you? The police will pin it on the guard. My husband's agreed to wait 48 hours while I hire private investigators. We'll go wherever the evidence takes us, Jessica Rabbi. You're my only hope in finding the missing mezuzah. And preventing the arrest of a man I'm naive enough to believe is innocent. It was almost noon when we got to the synagogue. We knew that the guard always took a walk in the nearby park during his lunch break, so we headed there. Hey, Goose. Since when are you the guard of the synagogue? How'd you know? You were convicted in that Hong Kong Canary case and sentenced to 30 years. I got out in two months on good behavior. Where's the golden mezuzah? I didn't take no golden mezuzah. You were the last person who had access to it during the night. What did you do with it? Fess up. It'll be worse if the cops get to you first. <laughs> I don't know anything about it. <laughs> so what's with the tears? It hurts when I'm accused of being unethical. <laughs> Guilty! I'm not guilty. I'm sensitive. <laughs> hey, Rabbi. Oh, rabbi, Rabbi, Rabbi! Is that a mezuzah in your pocket? Or are you just glad to see me? Oh, no, 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 no. There's a jar of Harry. Oh, in case I need a nosh. <laughs> Goose, check his pocket. <laughs> ah, oh, I'm tickling. Stop that. No. You set Goose up, Rabbi. Well, I see how Jessica and Goose look at each other. Well, I don't want him to take her away from me. I had to try to get rid of him. I knew you were neurotic when I first heard your name. Three rabbis is too Jewish. You are worried for nothing. Uh, 
Oh, Jessica. Uh, you a goose. Well, you're not trying to play a trick on me, are you? Silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids. Ah, Rabbi! 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 Oh! 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 They! Oh! The jar of Harry just leaked all over my pants! But you had a lizard in your pocket. The other pocket. Oh! 